this is a statue of uh, Norman Harvey. He was awarded Victoria Cross in the First World War. And he was 19 when he was awarded it. Apparently he did join when he was 15, got injured. Got sent home, they found out his age and uh, he was like, stopped joining the army then. That's when he went back when he was 19. Very sad, and uh, he enlisted. He got the Victoria Cross. Uh, what he got it for? The most conspicuous bravery and devotion to duty near Kenogen, I think it says, on the 25th of October 1918, when his battalion was held up and suffered heavy casualties from enemy machine guns. On his own initiative, he rushed forward and engaged the enemy, single handed, disposing of 20 enemy, capturing two guns. Later, when his company was checked by another enemy, strong point, he again rushed forward alone and put the enemy to flight. Subsequently, after dark, he voluntarily carried out single handed and important reconnaissance and gained valuable information. PT Harvey throughout the day displayed the greatest valour and his sev several actions enabled the line to advance, saving many casualties in spite of. What a brave man! together this. All nuts and bolts and spanners and corkscrews, clamps, all kinds, you can see it there, it's amazing. Didn't even know that, I live like five minutes from here, I didn't even know this was there till last night, and like I say I was sporking the blow last night, the dog, and uh, seen this figure come over and this is what I've seen. I tried to film this afternoon but there was too many people here. Uh, I actually met his nephew as well here. Yeah. That was amazing as well. I had a nice chat with his nephew James. He was here today. He left this uh, poppy, this reef here for Norman and all whoever led us to make us save them from James, Clive, Joan, Nora, Ivy, Michelle. God bless you all. Another one last week, huh? Keep going away, sorry about this. Our oh, Uncle Norman, how oh, you lost your life in the Great War, makes us all safe. James, Clive, Nora, Ivy, Michelle. Jerry can. Boots again. This is helmet, back, hack, hack. Even his hair is made with nails. And the spanner there. Another spanner. Got pliers, it's brilliant this. Got a big chain there, a big chain going around his waist. I didn't see that today, didn't I? There's actually footsteps here as well. Boot. That's the size. I'm hoping it turns out okay, this. You know, you can all see what I can see anyway. So 
so I'm gonna look outside here. Sandbags. So a nice plinth. Every time you look at this, it's just something different. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I'll uh, end it there. Please uh, subscribe. Explore with Lola. See you next time.